Neuroplasticity. You hear the term very often these days from smartphone apps, learning centers, rehabilitation centers, and even through athletic performance. But what does the term really mean? Well, let's keep things simple. If you break down the term neuro, means nervous system, which consists of the brain, spinal cord, and all the nerves that send and receive information to and from the brain. And plasticity, which comes from the Greek word plastos, meaning moldable. So together, neuroplasticity means a moldable brain. Originally introduced by an Italian psychiatrist by the name of Ernesto Lugaro in 1906, the term neuroplasticity was a way to describe how the brain can change throughout life to adapt, learn, and even recover from brain injury. But this wasn't the first time that the concept of neuroplasticity was described. You may be familiar with the famous experiment in 1904 conducted by a Russian psychologist, Ivan Pavlov. Professor Pavlov was able to essentially rewire the brains of his dogs to salivate at the ringing of a bell. He did this by repetitively ringing a bell every single time their food was presented to them. You probably have personal experience with neuroplasticity and don't even know it. As a matter of fact, every time we learn something new, we are harnessing the power of neuronal plasticity. You may remember when you were back in grade school, your teacher told you at the end of the week you were going to have a quiz on all 50 capitals of the United States. 